For this video, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize games on your computer. This works for any single game that you have. The first thing that you're going to do is start the game that you want to optimize. Then you want to open up Task Manager by going to search and typing Task and selecting Task Manager. Here in the Task Manager on the Processes tab, click Name and then find the game that you're trying to optimize. Right click the game and then select Properties. Here on the Properties window, you're going to want to click Compatibility. The first thing that you want to do is select Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Then select Change High DPI Settings. Here on this tab, you want to select Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. And then make sure out of these three selections, you have Application Selected. Click OK. Click Apply. Then click OK. Next, you want to go down to search and type in GPU. Then select Graphic Settings. Here on this screen, you want to make sure that Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling is turned on. Then you want to add your game here to the list below. To do that, you're going to be clicking Browse and then selecting the game that you want to be adding. If you don't know how to find your game in here, go ahead and open your Task Manager again. Right click on your game and then select Open File Location. Once you select Open File Location, a new window will pop up with the game highlighted inside of the window. Go to the top of the window, right click and select Copy Address as Text. Now go back to the other window that was trying to open up your game. Left click in this box. Now right click, select Paste and hit Enter. It'll open up the location of the file of your game. Now select your game file and select Add. Once your game's been added, all you have to do is select Options, select High Performance, and then select Save. You can repeat the same process for any game and add it into your GPU scheduling. Once you're done adding the game, go ahead and close out all the windows, including your Task Manager and the game itself. Next, go down into Search and type in Game Mode and select Game Mode Settings. Here on Game Mode Settings, you want to make sure that Game Mode is enabled. It helps your Windows optimize your PC for gameplay. Once you have Game Mode turned on, you can close out the window. Next thing you're going to do is go down into the Search and type in MS Config and select System Configuration. Here on this window, you want to select the Boot tab, then select Advanced Options. And then here on the Boot Advanced Options, you want to select Number of Processors. And then here on the drop down box, it'll show you exactly how many processors your computer has, and you want to max it out by selecting 20. If you have 8, select 8. If you have 12, select 12. When you're done, go ahead and click OK, and then click on Services. Once you're on this tab, you want to select Hide All Microsoft Services. Here on the Services tab, you want to go through all of these and uncheck everything that isn't important for your computer. Don't check anything that has to do with your computer itself, like your processors or your video card or audio. If you don't want anything running like a game, you can just uncheck it here. Go through the list carefully and make sure you don't uncheck anything that's important. If you're unsure, you can always go to Google, type it in, and make sure that it's not important so you don't uncheck something that is important. Once you've unchecked all of the unnecessary programs from this list, go ahead, click Apply, and then click OK. When you're prompted to restart your computer, select Exit Without Restart because we got more work to do. All right, the next thing you're going to do is go down into Search and type in Power Plan and then select Edit Power Plan. Once you're on this window, go up to the top and select Power Options. And then over here, select Create a Power Plan. Select High Performance, name it whatever you want. Select Next. On this next window here in the drop-down boxes, you're gonna be choosing how long it takes to turn off your display and also how long it takes to turn 
your computer into sleep mode. I have mine on never because I never leave my studio. When you're done, click on create. Make sure your new plan is selected and then close out the window. Next, you're gonna go down into search and type in background apps and select background apps. Here on this screen, you're gonna to wanna to go through and turn off every single thing that you don't ever use. Just turn off all the crap that you're never gonna use, you guys. And then if you really want max performance, you could just disable all background apps completely. When you're done turning all this off, go ahead and close the window. Next, go down into search and type in disk and select disk cleanup. Your Windows drive by default will be selected, so all you have to do is click OK. Here in the disk cleanup window, go ahead and click clean up system files and then click OK one more time. Now make sure that all of these boxes here on the left are checked. Once all of the boxes are checked, click OK, then click delete files. Depending on how backed up your computer or slow your computer is, this might take a couple minutes. Once all the files are done deleting, go ahead back down into the search and type in file and then choose file explorer. Here on the file explorer window, select this PC. And then here on this window, right click in an open area and select properties. Here in the system control panel, you're going to want to select remote settings. Here on the system properties, make sure that allow remote assistant connections is disabled. If this thing is checked, make sure you uncheck it, click apply, and then click OK. Now select advanced system settings. Here on this window, select settings. And here in performance options, you want to select adjust for best performance. Just a quick note, if when you're done with the process and you don't like the text in your computer, and you want to revert back to the original text, come back to this step and then choose adjust for best appearance and select apply. When you're done making adjustments, go ahead and click apply, click OK, click OK, and then close out the windows. Next, you want to come down here to your start menu and right click and select run. And then you want to type in temp, click OK, and here in this window, you want to delete everything that is in the window. If something can't be deleted, that's because the file is in use. That's OK. Click do this for all current items and select skip. When it's done, close the window. Now go back and right click on the start menu again and select run again. Now type in percent temp percent and click OK. Here in this window, you want to select and delete everything inside of here. If you're prompted that some files can't be deleted, that's OK. Some files are in use. Select do this for all current items and select skip. Once you're done, go ahead and close the window. Now, the last thing you want to do before you restart is go ahead and right click on your recycle bin, empty recycle bin, select yes. Once you're done emptying out the recycle bin, you're gonna end this process by restarting your computer. I hope this helped you guys out a lot. If it did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all.